Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are differentiating quantitative and qualitative research paradigms. But first, let's have a short discussion of what quantitative and qualitative research is. Qualitative research, according to Cresswell in 1994, is an inquiry process of understanding a social or human problem based on building a complex, holistic picture formed with words, reporting detailed views of informants, and conducted in a natural setting. Whereas quantitative research is seen as an inquiry into a social or human problem based on testing a theory composed of variables, measured with numbers, and analyzed with statistical procedures. To further discuss the differences between qualitative and quantitative research, in terms of assumptions, Qualitative research says that the world is complex. No single variable or number can explain such phenomena. While quantitative research says that the world or physical reality is explained by the laws of nature and science. Furthermore, in qualitative research, the world is constructed from the point of view of the participants. As such, the physical reality is understood from the perspectives or stories of the participants themselves, whereas in quantitative research, the data can be objectively and reliably drawn from a sample and accurately reflect reality. To further emphasize, in qualitative research, the reality of the world is very much dependent on the perspectives or points of view of each of the participants selected meaning the experiences, ideas, and insights shared by these participants contribute to how the world is seen based on how they see it. Whereas in quantitative research, since it relies heavily on having a sample population, whatever is true for the sample population may be considered true for the general population that it actually represents. Now that leads us to this particular question. What is the implication of knowing these differences? Knowing how the world is seen based on the assumptions in qualitative and quantitative research helps researchers to further understand where a certain idea or concept is coming from. As such, this allows them to formulate the necessary conclusions and or generalizations based on the study that is being conducted. To continue, in terms of research goal and purpose, qualitative research aims to understand social phenomena, seek meaning, and interpret reality as based on the perspectives of the participants, while quantitative research aims to explain the causes of phenomena through objective measurement and numerical analysis. Furthermore, qualitative research aims to gain insight, describe events and patterns, and increase understanding of ideas feelings, beliefs, and motives of the participants, while quantitative research aims to predict and establish relationships and generalize findings. To predict and establish relationships meaning to hypothesize, to come up with a particular idea that would be proven to be true or not at the end of the research. As mentioned earlier, the main goal or purpose of qualitative research is to consider how each of the ideas, beliefs, and perspectives of the participants of a study contribute to giving meaning or explanation to a particular reality or phenomenon. It is also worth noting that since each of these individuals have unique experiences, they might have different interpretations towards a particular reality or phenomenon. As such, the results are not truly generalizable. Whereas, in quantitative research, the main goal of conducting this particular research is to explain a reality based on numeric data. Meaning, whatever is true for the sample population, as long as proper statistics is applied, may also be considered true for the general population. Now, in terms of sampling or the selection of participants for the study, in qualitative research, the sampling is small, purposive, and context-specific. What do we mean by context-specific? 
it means that what we have to look for would be those who are actually knowledgeable in terms of the topic or problem that we are going to include in our research. Because that way, they would be able to share their ideas and experiences which are relevant to the study that we are conducting. Whereas in quantitative research, it is randomized and controlled for extraneous variables. Usually, it needs large samples for proper population representation. When we say population representation, it is for the purpose of generalization, meaning, again, what was mentioned, whatever is true for the sample population may be considered true for the general public or general population that it represents. In terms of data collection techniques, qualitative research involves document collection observations, informal interviews, artifact reviews, and focus group discussions. While quantitative research involves test administrations, experimentations, surveys, and the use of existing data sets. Again, in terms of sampling, qualitative research uses purposive sampling, meaning out of all the respondents or the possible participants, a qualitative researcher must be very critical or careful in selecting the possible participants in the study. Whereas quantitative research uses random sampling, meaning anyone could become a part of the study. The purpose of this particular process is for objectivity and generalizability. Meaning, whatever is true for the sample population can be considered true for the general population that it represents. With regard to research designs, qualitative research designs are seen to be evolving and flexible. A hunch that is stated at the beginning of the research can be changed and adapted based on the context and merging of data which is uncovered during the inquiry process. Whereas quantitative research designs are seen to be structured, predetermined, formal, and inflexible. Furthermore, it uses robust instrumentation that is designed and structured to verify the hypothesis set at the beginning of the inquiry process. It also involves an intervention and manipulation of variables. Now before we continue, let's answer this question. Why is it important to know the differences in the design? We must understand that each research design is unique in a way that our objectives for conducting the research help determine the design to be used. As such, knowing how qualitative and quantitative research designs differ from each other helps us to further understand and know the appropriate design that we need to use in our studies. In terms of hypothesis formulation, Qualitative research hypothesis is tentative, meaning it evolves during the course of the study. Whereas quantitative research hypothesis is specific, testable, and stated at the onset of the study. This hypothesis needs to be proven or rejected. With regard to generalizability, qualitative research assumes that each individual, culture, or research setting is unique. Therefore, Generalizations are dependent on the context of the study. While quantitative research assumes that a researcher can discover laws of nature that may add to reliable predictions and control of phenomena. To further emphasize what was mentioned earlier in terms of hypothesis formulation, in qualitative research, the hypothesis tends to be flexible or tentative, meaning, Whatever hypothesis you may have at the beginning of your study may change during the process or near the end of your study depending on whatever information you may have gathered from your respondents. Whereas in quantitative research, whatever hypothesis you may have at the beginning must be proven whether it's going to be rejected or accepted near the end of the study depending on whatever results you may have obtained. Again, in terms of generalizability, since qualitative research generalizations are dependent on the context of the study, it can be considered that whatever the results are, 
may not be applicable for everyone because it depends on, again, the context. Whatever is true for a certain group of people may not be considered the same for a different group of individuals depending on the context. While in quantitative research, because it involves the laws of nature, it may be worth noting that whatever the results are in a quantitative research may be considered or may be assumed to be true for all. Now let's move on to data analysis. In qualitative research, the data analysis is ongoing and inductive, meaning the analysis is repeated until a plausible and credible explanation of the data is obtained. Furthermore, qualitative data obtained are summarized for codes, patterns, and themes. Whereas in quantitative research, the data analysis is deductive and statistical meaning the numerical data are subjected to statistical analysis. With regard to the role of researcher, a qualitative researcher deliberately interacts with the participants, while a quantitative researcher is seen to be objective, impartial, and detached. To further explain in terms of data analysis, in qualitative research, it uses an inductive method, meaning we start with a general premise such as observation of a general phenomenon. We narrow it down to data gathering in relation to the observed phenomena. And finally, we come up with something specific such as the development of a specific theory or explanation about the phenomena. Whereas in quantitative research, it uses the deductive method. We start with something specific such as identifying a theory and formulating a hypothesis, then gathering of data in relation to testing the theory, and finally, we come up with something general such as obtaining the answers, accepting or rejecting the hypothesis, and reaching new conclusions. And finally, in terms of the role of the researcher, in qualitative research, the researcher has direct interaction with his respondents because through interviews, focus group discussions, or immersions, a researcher is able to gather the ideas, beliefs, experiences, and perspectives of the respondents in terms of a particular topic. While in quantitative research, the researcher is seen to be impartial or detached. Through surveys, experiments, and tests, a quantitative research is able to gather data such as test results, records, numeric data, statistics, and even interpretation. Now before we end our discussion, let's answer this final question. Why is it important to know the difference between qualitative and quantitative research? We have to take note that qualitative and quantitative research both have characteristics which are unique to them. As such, each type of research has designs that correspond to the targets and objectives of the researchers. We have to remember that the process of conducting the research, for example, sampling, data gathering and analysis, the role of the researcher, and the presentation of data differ between qualitative and quantitative research. As such, it is therefore necessary that the researchers can fully understand how one is different from the other in order for them to know which is the appropriate design to use.